my way. I'm Proceed to the route. So rude. Anyway, I'm on my way, uh, crossing Lake Champlain from Plattsburgh, New York, into Vermont, where I plan to spend the next week or so uh, visiting random things. Uh, the coolest thing about when I actually started looking at my next door neighbor, Vermont, as a tourist destination, not just a place to go shop and have dinner, is I realized there's all these cool things that I never, in the years I was here, went to check out because I live so close by. It's sort of like when I was in Japan, um, I felt like a tourist every day, so I'd always go out and find and do stuff. But until you like switch that, you know, click in your mind from, well, I live here, so, you know, I'm not going to do that. It, it's sort of like New Yorkers who don't go visit the Statue of Liberty, which is totally normal. Like, most New Yorkers don't. It's tourists who do. Um, it, it's an important thing, I think, no matter where you live, uh, be it a car or your house, um, you try and look at life as we're all tourists on this planet for the little time we have and we should take advantage of all those amazing things we can do so i'm excited for seeing vermont through brand new eyes george is excited the woman at the uh ferry ticket place uh gave her a dog biscuit you gotta love that Georgia, I need you to inspect the can site, sniff around, figure out if it's good. And again, you lick your own butt, so I'm not sure I can really go with your opinion on much of anything. So day one, so far successful. I saw a lot of cool and fun Vermonty things, but I think I spent so much time doing Vermonty things that I left um, finding a campsite until too late in the day. And as a result, it was a little bit of a mad dash to find a place and I was starting to get a little worried because I'm still not like totally used to this like not knowing we're going to sleep that night thing um but I'm sure I'll get used to it um anywho uh I was able to find this spot which is kind of small so I have this sort of like emergency pup tent that's big enough for my sleeping mat and uh her mat and two of us I've had a couple problems so far uh you know that thing they say in airplanes like uh contents may have shifted during movement well, it turns out the same thing's true of my car. Uh, as a result, uh, one of the bins came falling out and cracked, but I specifically bought these Target brand bins because I know I will come across another Target and can replace it with the exact same thing. Budgie cord fix. And two, the plug on the refrigerator, it's kind of hard to explain, actually came out of the inside of the refrigerator when I unplugged it. So I have to find crazy glue at some point and fix that. Otherwise, everything turned out okay. Found a spot. I'm deep in the Green Mountains. This is a beautiful location uh, right next to a babbling brook. So, so quiet and away from humanity here. But not away from my little monster. Um, but at the same time, that's the whole reason to be out here. Got here in time for dusk. Enough time to maybe build a fire. Uh, camp is already set up. I'm gonna dig into uh, Asian style beef strips with veg. Ooh, that sounds good. They, like transport me back to my time in Japan. Ooh man, that's that's something. Uh, I, got, I got a. I think by big they meant potato. Get a little close up on that wholesome, delicious goodness. 
Check pretty good. All right. driving Yes, it's an enormous tent. This is meant for, I think, nine people. Um, but like, for example, next week, uh, it's gonna rain for a week straight. And I wanna be able to like live like a human being and do things. Um, the sleeping area uses the mattress from the back of the platform in my Subaru. I built a platform in the back of the Subaru so I can sleep in the car in you know, extraordinary circumstances. But um, this is obviously better for longer stays. I've got my clothing bins. Uh, I've got a work area here with a little table and I can actually do all my videos and whatnot. A um, little radio for entertainment purposes. The bathroom. I literally just put a garbage bag in that, do my business, and then dispose of the garbage bag properly, which means not, uh, not here in the woods. Um, the kitchen. Well, this is part of it. I have a ridiculous, ridiculous solar setup, but it allows me to uh, run, for example, uh, the refrigerator. I did not want to deal with ice uh, because that's a nightmare if you've ever done with ice, but uh, the battery I have hooked up to it can last literally a week um, with no recharge if I only use it for the refrigerator. So I had no sun for a week. I could literally keep all my, you know, meats and vegetables and whatnot cold. Um, I also have, uh, aside from this huge Blue Eddy 3000 watt hour um, battery, I also have here um, a smaller 300 uh, one, which I can bring in more easily uh, to the tent. The uh, refrigerator stays in the car at all times because, of course, um, at night all food objects go in the car. Uh, and then um, the rest of my gear is over here. This is my biggest piece of gear, which is very helpful at something, I'm sure. Uh, it's my shower system. Uh, this thing is awesome. You inflate it with uh, the foot pump and uh, it's air pressure that uh, allows me to wash my hands or shower my body if there's not like a real shower around. And of course I've got uh, my cooking gear. Tonight we're making a fire. Look at how amazing this fire looks. This is gonna burn like the fires of hell. I'm very excited about it. But basically, uh, that's a lot of the, the big gear. Um, yeah, uh, just about ready to get some dinner going. Not sure what I'm gonna make quite yet. I'm gonna look through my uh, dry goods and I got chicken and pork in the fridge and some fresh veggies, so something with them. Exciting. I'm trying to do a video here. So no exciting uh, traveling or doing anything fun today. It's uh, raining as I expected. Uh, what do I do on a rain day? Uh, quite simply, stay inside, play a little Final Fantasy 1 NES version, um, and eat some dried mango. 
no, you cannot have any dried mango. And then after I will do some house cleaning. <laughs> oh, it's not like that. Um, but I also was productive. I'm working on my master's degree from the road. Um, I don't think I've mentioned that yet. So I turned in some assignments for that. Um, so I'm good for the week. Uh, and I started editing, I guess, the video that this is going to be in. Oh my goodness, it's like Tenet. It, uh, it's, it's a weird time thing. I'm editing the video that you have already seen, but oh, it's hurting my brain, I can't think of it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a quiet afternoon. Hopefully the rain will let up and I can go out and cook something. If not, um, I have some uh, indoor cooking options as well that I'm eager to uh, practice, so. Rain day! I was about to be super lazy, and I even opened this can of Brookdale Original Chili, no beans. And then, looking at the gelatinous, whatever that is, I decided, you know what? Put in a little effort. So tonight we're having jambalaya, chicken and andouille jambalaya, and you're not having any because you're a dog. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to continue this video until part two. There's still more stuff to do here in Vermont, uh, and I'm headed to New Hampshire next. So. Yeah, join me for next time. Bye-bye.